welcome back to my channel. I'm Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to miss any of my uploads. And if you are interested in this collective haul I have, then just keep on watching. So first up, I want to talk about this purse charm I got off Amazon. It's this cherry charm that looks very much like the one you can buy at Coach. Where am I? There we go. Yeah, it looks just like the one you can get at the coach store. I put her on Big Mama because I've been carrying her. And I think this charm at coach is somewhere between $89 and $100. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. It's $9.99 on Amazon. And I think there's some type of discount that you get once you add it to the cart. So for $10 or less, absolutely. Especially because... The purse itself is big, but the charm is big and it hits everything. So this literally hits everything when you're getting in and out of the car, going in and out of doors, walking around little bins when you're in stores or whatever. This, this charm is armed and dangerous, is locked and loaded. So <laughs> I would be having heart palpitations just thinking about all of the times the charm hit things, knowing if I paid a hundred plus dollars for it, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> so yeah, find this on Amazon and I will try and make sure that I have this linked in the description. Next, I have a couple items from Marshalls. This is from Sand and Fog because they got us in the chokehold, y'all, okay? This first oil is Lilac Wine and this has notes of bergamot, rose, jasmine, and sandalwood. And to me, it's a very sweet floral. It's kind of approaching that fine line of almost being bubble gummy, which I love, but it's not orange blossom. I, I haven't actually put this on my skin. Let me put this on my skin to see if it still gives me that bubble gum vibe. It's a nice sweet floral, okay? It kind of does smell like rose, but it's not like pow in your face rose. It's just a really nice floral. So if you enjoy a good floral scent, and if you have some in your collection, this would be good to wear it with. Even though, for how it is, it's not bubble gummy, but kind of bubble gummy to me. I'm gonna still try it out with my bubble gum florals to see See what happens because i still like the way that smells so this next one i have been wearing down already this is white vanilla i don't know if you can see that clearly but it's called white vanilla and this i'm gonna look up the notes real quick on sand and fog but when i smelled this in the store it smells like buttercream frosting to me this I feel like will go so good with your gourmand layering routines, okay? I have one that I layered it with. I did sweet cream butter from Tree Hut, ice lemon pound cake, um, vanilla musk from Namat, Lyra, and Heart to Get from Forever Mood. It was a vibe. Okay, let's see. Santa Fog. Is that the right price? <laughs> I think this is $48. That, that is obnoxious. Uh, let me get into the notes. Top is orange, middle is vanilla powder and butter, and base is vanilla and sugar. It's butter, like I said, it's buttercream frosting, okay? It, it smells like frosting to me, and I don't really know how else to describe it other than that. So if you enjoy a sweet, fluffy, vanilla that kind of almost smells like vanilla extract it's it's frosting it just i don't know how to describe it so if you like scents like that then i think you would enjoy white vanilla and again i found both of these oils in marshall's let's see where's the okay this says 25 marked down to 69.99 but on the website unless i'm looking in the wrong place that looked like it said it was 48 dollars 
I still have to say nothing. Let's move on. Okay, so yesterday I wound up in Walmart. And yes, I am traumatized. But the trip to Target, I was already in the same parking lot. So I was like, I'm here. I don't want to make an extra stop, like driving way around the way to get to the nearest Target. So I needed mouthwash, toothbrushes, and I think that was it. And Lumi. And now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot the Lumi wash. So anyways, I have some deodorant here from Secret. This is the 72 hour invisible solid in the completely clean scent. Definitely enjoys kind of a staple for me at this point. Um, I, the toothbrush I was using yesterday had fell on the floor after I finished using it. Don't ask me why I'm clumsy. <laughs> I couldn't find my pack of toothbrushes. So I was like, I need to grab some while I'm out. I found the toothbrushes when I got back, but I picked these up because this, the Walmart I was at did not have a great selection of toothbrushes. So I just grabbed the first thing I locked eyes with. And I've never seen Therabreath's um, toothpaste. I had seen they had some, but I'd never seen it in person. So that's my excuse for picking this up. This is in the mild mint flavor, I guess that's what we call them. And then I'm running low on the mouthwash I have. So I re-upped on the Therabreath. And this is just in the larger size and the clean mint flavor. Because it's flavor or scent. Whatever. I got mouthwash. Okay. I haven't shown wipes in a while, but I bought some flushable wipes here from Cottonelle. I figured I'd finally show some for no reason, I guess. Next, I picked up some hair ties because if you know, you know, these things love to grow wings and fly away. So I feel like I'm always repurchasing them every couple of months. I also bought this headband yesterday. When I tried it on, I wasn't feeling it, but it's it's not that bad now that I'm trying it on again. I was always having the headbands that wrap around the entire head around the back. And I was finding that like they just weren't giving me the vibe. I don't know. I don't know if it's like my head shape or whatever, but they just weren't giving me what I was looking for. So I bought like a regular headband Ooh, child I'm gonna knock my ear out <laughs> so it's it's satin so I can appreciate that but I like it a lot better trying it on today than I did yesterday so I guess that's a positive because yesterday I was like mm. but I saw it's really say nothing so let's move on Next up, I may have made a couple of stops to Bath and Body Works over the last few days, but we're just going to gonna show this bag, okay? I tossed everything in here. So here's my Bath and Body Works bag. So let me start out by saying this is a safe space, okay? Because <laughs> remember that time way back when, when I had said I wasn't going to be buying no more wallflowers? Mmm. I did say that. I bought wallflowers, y'all. Okay. I broke down and I bought wallflowers. So let me just get right on into it. Since I tried to do this yesterday, I already plopped one into the wall because I still have the air wicks plugged in too. And I don't want to have too much of a scent going. So a wallflower one at a time is perfectly fine with me but i bought two sun drenched linen again one is in the wall right now but yeah so this has fresh linen crisp tart apple and soft musk it's a this is the one that was leaking the bag i had yesterday i could tell one of them was leaking i don't think you can really see now maybe a little the oil at the bottom but I found the culprit because it's leaking in my hand. That means nothing. If you enjoy a nice fresh scent for your home fragrance, sun drenched linen, you really cannot ever go wrong with. Speaking of which, let me find the other two. I have two in this clean house vibes scent. Child, you can't even see this one. They're both in clean house vibes. And the scent notes are 
fresh lavender, sparkling bergamot, and mint blossom. I think having those testers out for the wallflowers now makes it easier for me to get an idea of what they smell like because before they didn't really have that. So if there wasn't a candle in the store for that scent, you might not be able to figure out if you like it or not. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it to why I bought wallflowers, okay? All right, next up, Mary Cookie. This is uh, fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. I haven't had many foodie scented wallflower plugins, so I'm a little nervous because I usually opt for freshies. But I'm I think I had I had almond croissant that I liked. I think I had ice lemon pound cake that was good. So yeah. Here we go, two in laundry day. A scent that I enjoy as well in home care. This has notes of fresh air, crisp eucalyptus and soft lavender. Again, it doesn't smell that different than sun drenched linen. So if you like one, you'd like the other. Next one is pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm very nervous about this because the candle I had in the scent I thought I was gonna have to put it outside. Okay, that's how strong it was. Maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. So we'll see how pumpkin pecan waffles goes. Next, I have two of these in, in the stars. And I can't even get this open. Sparkling bergamot, apricot blossom, and fluffed sandalwood. I had this in a waffle before and really did like it. So, since I was spinning the block, okay. Next is sweet orange and agave. So, this one was a nice fruity scent, I remember. Effervescent citrus, golden agave, and jasmine musk. And citrus outside of linen, fresh linen scents, is another one I feel like you really can't go wrong with. Okay, so boom. As you can see, I have dived in head first back into the wallflower pond. Next, there was a room spray sale yesterday. So I have like one, maybe two left. So it's a perfect time to re-up. So one of my favorites, other than sun-drenched linen, would be fresh, not fresh, would be laundry day. So Went and got three more of those. Next, I sprayed these and was like, okay, we can we can try these. Perfect in pink. I finally smelled the body care to this the other day and it's very cute. So I might get it in either a full size mist or a mini mist, cause I did like the scent. I sprayed this and was like, oh, I wasn't expecting to like this one cause Vanilla Bean Nobel and Vanilla Bean Noel has been pretty hit or miss for me as far as body care goes, but this smelled really delicious, so I grabbed one. And then last but not least, I was not expecting to see these in room spray scents, but I sprayed it, immediate yes, again. This is You're The One. I enjoy the scent and body care, and it did not fail me in the room spray scent. Like, if you enjoy that, like, fruity rose, it's just, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. As soon as I sprayed it, immediate yes, as you can see, because I grabbed three. So next I went to, child, that's not the right way. Next I went to Ul Ulta. Oh, can I not talk? Like, it's not late. I haven't been drinking. I don't know what's going on. I went to Ulta, child, okay? So I went in Ulta to get sunscreen and the NYX butter glosses were on sale for three for 10. But let me just say, outside be real expensive. It be real expensive to go out there. Like, you be getting caught up. <laughs> I got the sunscreen. This is the Black Girl sunscreen in a 30 SPF. I said I would try and venture out to experiment with other sunscreens, but that hasn't happened. And I've just been continuous, continuing to repurchase this. Next, I uh, saw this in the store. This is a mini. This is Toasted Vanilla Caramel from Hemp's. This smells really good, but Laura knows I do not need another full-size Hemp's lotion. They're not that moisturizing, for, in my opinion, to begin with. So I'm like, it's already hard enough to get through them. And I'm, I don't want to. I don't want another full-size Hemp's lotion. So I like the scent enough to get it in the mini so that I can at least use it and enjoy it for a little while. All right, 
Next, this caught my eye because I was interested in a couple of products in here. Can I turn this? I can't tell if I can turn this product or not. But this is Glow Goals from Sunday Riley. So there are two products, maybe even three specifically that I wanted to try in here. So I don't know what's, I think this is left. So from your left to right, here, this is the CEO Glow Face Oil. Next here, this is what I've been interested in. This is the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment. Next here is the CEO Vitamin C Serum. And then this last one here I've been interested in. This is a CEO Afterglow Gel Cream. So I've been super interested in trying these products out for sure especially the good jeans lactic acid and the afterglow cream i'm not necessarily loyal to a vitamin c oil because for me i haven't noticed one stand out over another yet but we'll see how that little set goes and then i picked up the butter glosses from nyx so i got my three for twelve let me see if I can get them pointed the correct way. So here are the glosses I picked up. So this here is tiramisu, I think. Yes, tiramisu, you know a pink, a pink lippy, hate to see me coming, okay? This in the middle is praline and this on the other end is devil's food cake. So let me swatch these real quick to show you what they look like so first up here that is tiramisu so that right there is devil's food cake tiramisu really do look like what i got on now don't it <laughs> i am a true creature of habit child okay and then this last one is praline so there we go so where are we Praline, Devil's Food Cake, and Tiramisu. So those are the glosses. So yeah, I thought they were cute. And they were three for 12. I didn't need them. I feel like I have another NYX gloss somewhere. I feel like I bought one not too long ago and I can't find it. <laughs> Is that a sign I didn't need these three? <laughs> we're gonna move on, okay? Let us move on. <laughs> All right, so I did go back to Sephora, okay? We discussed this though. I said I was going back because I still wanted to grab a full-size um, setting spray. So on that last Sephora haul, someone said that these milk mattifying sprays are in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I've been to like four, maybe five stores at this point in my area. I haven't found one. So I'm holding out hope that I will find one. So I didn't buy that in the full size. Instead, in the meantime, I picked this up because I do still want a full size setting spray because this is what I got left of Charlotte Tilbury. And that's not gonna last me until April. Even if I just have that and this, it's not gonna last me four months. So I got that in a full size. And then I did run out of toner a few days ago. So as soon as the sale started, I knew I was going to need a toner. And I could have just repurchased the La Roche-Posay one because I haven't been having any issues with it. But something about being in Sephora okay, just makes me happy. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I just like going to Sephora. Okay. I know the Sephora um, associates love and hate to see me go. <laughs> So I say all that to say, I picked up this Caudalie Vino Pure uh, Purifying Toner. So I have been using this for the last couple of days. So that's why you see a little dent in there. Um, I will say, child, let me put this down. I have oily skin and I will say that that stuff definitely sucks the oil out, which I was enjoying at first, but now it's having me a, questioning a little because when my skin when my like especially my t-zone if it starts to feel the least bit of dry it's gonna start pushing oil out in overtime so that's something that i'm a little nervous about but 
we'll see moving on next child okay <laughs> something told me not because i had watched pockets and bowls after i put in my first order and i went back to the store i had the audacity to watch her haul and then you know what i did i went back to the store okay i swatched the nars blush she was talking about i used my finger i don't know maybe if i should use like the little sponge pad instead i wasn't feeling the way it looked on me that is okay because it's one less thing i gotta buy okay but i did swatch this space cowboy quad um moon dust child i don't know what order to say this in moon dust space cowboy from urban decay i don't know what order you say that in but it's a little quad and let me that's what it looks like so this one right here where my pinky is at, I did put that on my lids with a little bit of this brown one too. I think these are great toppers for everyday looks. And yeah, did I need it? No, but when you know how it is when you go in the store and you swatch something and you fall in love, at that point, I'm like, I might need to have it, okay? So here it is. And it was the last one and I felt like you were waiting on me and then also as a part of that haul she mentioned these pelt preserve peptide lip treatments from Olay Heinrichsen so I found one in strawberry sorbet ironically the last one on the shelf as well so yes okay now during her recommendations video she mentioned the youth to the people body butter so I had it in mind to at least try it on the skin and see how I felt about it when I went to the store to pick those two items up. So there I am minding my business, okay? <laughs> Trying on this body butter. I'm like, ooh, putting it on. It did feel nice. It felt nice and moisturizing. Here comes one of the associates and their job really is to give you baskets to incite you to buy more stuff, okay? So he's like, what you, what, what you over here um, trying out? I'm like, this body butter. And I like it. I like this. And he's like, do I need to try it on? I'm like, I think you do. So he's real slick. He takes the little basket he has in his arm, puts the stuff I already had. I had the lippy and the quad already in my hand, like sitting down while I was trying on the butter. He puts that in the basket for me, okay? He tries on the butter. He's like, ooh, this is nice. You know what he did? You know what Joey did? Because I was looking at his name tag as I was leaning down to pick my basket up. He put that, he put a box of the butter in my basket. And I was like, Joey, what is you doing? <laughs> what, what is happening here? He's like, I mean, treat yourself. Yeah, you're right, but I didn't ask you to help me do it. <laughs> like, this is like my sixth time being to the store in the last seven days. I don't need your help as well. Like, get out my pocketbook, okay? I bought it, okay? I enjoyed it enough at that point. I didn't like the price point, but I still went on ahead and bought it. I was like, you can put it in here. So now I gotta go buy it. Now I went to Ulta not too long after I left out of Sephora. So about 30 to 40 minutes had passed by by then. And I noticed my hands, cause that's the only place I put the butter on. My hands felt a little dry. Like they could have used a little more lotion or some oil or whatever. So for that, I was like, oh no, mm -mm. cause at that price point, like the fin that's what the Fenty butters cost approximately. And my skin stays moisturized and hydrated all day. Like this is, this it hasn't been 60 minutes and my skin's dry. <laughs> so I already knew I was going to return the butter, but I decided to try on the um, Olay Hyrixen Lippy. It's a little peptide lippy. I tried this on in the meantime, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I knew it was gonna happen. At first I was like, do I want a full size Fenty Butter in the marshmallow scent? Cause she's, she's starting to grow on me now. 
But instead, I went back and exchanged that butter and I got myself a second one of these and I got my friend one because I was like, girl, I love it and I want you to love it too. So that's how that went. I really said a whole lot of nothing. Let me move on to the last item I got here. This is Laneige. This is the Lip Glowy Balm in Gummy Bear. And I've never tried Laneige Lippies. I feel like I've bought in like the masks for others or whatever. I feel like somebody might have given me a mask and I don't know where it's at. Okay. But I'm about to try these as well. So that is what I got from Sephora. Okay. I... I went in with the plan. This is why I don't need to be watching no recommendations, no nothing, okay? I don't need to be watching nothing so I don't get inspired to go and start swatching. So, let me move on. <laughs> Last but not least, I wound up in Coach. Um, I bought these sunglasses from Coach a couple months ago and I was torn between colors. There, were, there was a green pair and a black pair, same style. I want green because my favorite color. And I have couldn't I have not been able to get those black ones out of my mind since. So part of me was thinking maybe I should have just gotten the black ones instead. But at the outlet, I think it's final sale, so I couldn't go in exchange. But it's okay. So it says coach on the sides. They're pretty simple, but they are just okay. They are my style. Child, are they on crooked because of this headband? They're probably on a little crooked because of the headband, but these are my style. And then the crazy part is I went for these and then I locked eyes with another pair of sunglasses. They they are red. I There should be a photo, hopefully, because I took a picture of them, not in them. They would be so cute for the spring. So I feel like if I am still thinking about them once spring comes around and if they're still available, I might see what happens. But otherwise, I'm not gonna spend a buck to go and run out and get them because it's fall, winter will be here before you know it. So I won't be reaching for them. So yeah, but there's one other item I picked up in Coach that I really, really, really did not need. <sighs> but I tried it on, okay. And I felt like I couldn't leave without it. I was like, I can't leave without you. <laughs> Let me grab it right quick. So a couple things, it's gonna be a little fibers flying all around cause it's a scarf. And it was in the plastic um it was in the plastic yesterday so yeah i will have a we got more room over here i will have the photo of the models wearing it on the website but it's a scarf i think it's called the hearts and stars something okay it's in the shade taupe so as you see you see the hearts and stars and the seas it's got this lighter brown and then you've got the more taupe brown if you've seen this color brown you know that i'll be wearing a lot of this okay black brown gray nude brown that's what i'll be wearing okay so it's fitting right in it's got these huge pockets at towards the end on both ends of these it's got little i don't know if that's called at the bottom child okay don't get me the lion it's got these little deep pockets. So when you put it, the way it'll be on, if you wear it over the shoulders, it's like a cross between a scarf and a shawl to me. But the way you'd wear it by having the both pockets on, it'll be so cute, especially wearing this around the office. I'm gonna be so cute in the office. Like, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing, okay? So yeah, it's nice and warm and I just, I tried it on and I was like, oh, I don't need this. Please take us both to the register. <laughs> so that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.